Hello, my name is Connor. I'm 29. I'm based in Newcastle. Um, I started the IT Career Switch traineeship in October 2020. Um, the reason that I started it was I was becoming um, disillusioned in my previous job. I wanted something a little bit more challenging and over COVID I was given time to think about what I wanted to do as an alternative career and um, upon googling different uh, development courses uh, the IT Career Switch course came up. Uh, previously I worked as a senior analytical chemist at Merck Pharmaceuticals um, which was the job that I mentioned previously. The uh, traineeship itself, um, the my favourite parts of the course were definitely two projects which uh, they allowed me to problem solve and think creatively about how to build them while also giving me a certain amount of freedom that I wasn't getting in my previous career. I currently work for a web design development company called Code Playground which is based out in Newcastle. Some of the, uh, some of the things that we undertake on a day to day include um, building apps and websites for third party, third parties, uh, third party clients as well as apps that we then use and um, sell and whatnot in-house. On an average day, uh, I would check my emails in the morning, see if there are any messages from any clients or colleagues that were working alongside. I would check my uh, Trello work board, see where I left my work the pre day previously and what I've still to complete on the current project that I'm working on. Then I just get programming, pretty much. <laughs> At the end of the day, I push all my code to GitHub to ensure my code can be viewed and reviewed by my colleagues and it means that it's not lost as well if my computer breaks for any reason. Um, the traineeship uh, prepared me very well for the current position that I'm in as there was a lot of different technologies that we covered within the course, such as PHP, Bootstrap, API data retrieval was covered as well when I did both projects and plus all the general front-end technologies that um, I learned I, I use pretty much daily. Since I started my new role, uh, I've also learned new JavaScript frameworks such as Vue and Nuxt, as well as uh, the CSS framework Tailwind and PHP framework Laravel. Um, I have never really experienced freedom like this in any other job I've had previously. It's all very structured in other, um, in other jobs I've had, in my opinion. I'm constantly challenged every single day in this job and as is the nature of the sector that I am in, I am constantly having to learn, which is something that I also was very, um, which was what drew me to the, to the job more than anything else, I think. Right, uh, this is the office. And first thing, the kitchen here. This is, the office is actually in the middle of a farm. Developers are normally in first. This is where the admins all sit. You can see the fields out there. Not your usual office anyway. Okay, it's now the morning. There's Joe. Hello, Joe. This is where all of the developers sit. This is my seat here. More of the barn outside. And this is my workspace here. So in the morning, I tend to check my Trello first. I'll just line this up a little bit. Um, just to see what I've got going on today. Uh, so this is my Trello board. This is where we keep all of our to-dos. Um, what's priority, backlog, what I'm working on currently, anything that's blocked and uh, any cards that are done, we can just move over here, just like so. Uh, check my pull requests as well in the morning. Uh, no pull requests, which is absolutely stunning. And this is the project, a project that I'm working on right now. It's a price comparison website for energy for businesses um, it's got built-in login page all that lovely stuff this is the landing page currently for it um, I'll just go back to the home there and I've got my dev tools over here obviously very important useful for development and down here is my third screen always important to have an obscene amount of screens where all of the real work gets done and that's pretty much me for the rest of the day uh, yep uh, we also have spare parts uh, because what good film team doesn't have
parts in various different sizes. There's a couple of standing computers here, very old school. Spare laptops, headsets. Loads and loads of different cables, headsets, keyboards, everything you can need. And if there's any problems in the office with any of the guys through there, what tends to happen is we'll have a look around here and we'll see if we can help them out with anything that we have like laying around because there is so much around here that is unused. I've also got a rubber duck uh, that I keep as a little mascot on my desk. Um, if you've ever heard of rubber duck development, the concept basically means that if you're wanting to learn something, if you can then explain it to an inanimate object, say a rubber duck, like this little guy here, then it'll help you better understand and explain it. And I can vouch for it, it works.